Those are like events. Wow, shut your mouth. I'm fat, okay? <laughs> It's Jay and today I'm here with my March favorites for 2019. I don't have too much honestly but knowing me we're still gonna rant about our favorites for a good 20 minutes so we should just get right on into it. So without further ado let us get started. So usually the first thing I like to talk about are the special events or like fun stuff that I did this month. So this month I was invited to the Indigo YA preview event in Toronto which was hosted by the Indigo Teen team. It's basically just a presentation of all the new books that are being released in the next season. So this time around I was invited in Toronto and it was so much fun. I love these events. We were absolutely spoiled this time around. They were moving offices so they basically told us that everything in the office needed to go and therefore we could take whatever we wanted. So I ended up with 43 books and some book besties things like that and I'm just like so thankful that I was invited but I have a haul of all the arcs that I ended up getting from that event which I just uploaded today actually so you guys can check that out I'll leave it in the description if you're interested but yeah thank you so much to the team again it was so much fun and I'm so thankful that I was included. So next I usually talk about like clothing items that I've been loving so the first thing is actually the sweater that I'm wearing it's this black fuzzy sweater. I don't know if the velvet suede, I don't know, but it's like the fuzziest material ever and I just want to like rub it on my face at all times. I got it from Target on sale for like $10 and I've been wearing it like religiously. I'm obsessed with it. It's like a crop sweater. I'm not going to show you because like I don't want to show you my stomach right now, but it's like the most coziest thing ever and I just love it so much. <sighs> And then the second clothing piece that I am obsessed with is a thrifted piece, obviously, because your girl loves herself some thrifting. We all know this, but they are the cutest pants in the entire world. They're like these white, black, and blue, like geometric shape pants. They end up going very tight to your leg. By the end, they have this cute little, like, string to like tie a bow at the front. I'm really bad at explaining clothes, okay? But like they're super cute on and they are the lightest, comfiest material. And it's really funny because the first time I wore them, my boyfriend saw them and he was like, they're like almost see-through, but not. Like, aren't you worried about people like seeing your butt? And I'm like, well, the underwear that you'd be wearing with these, you would see my butt anyways, so. <laughs> Now, they're polyester, so they're like a super duper light fabric, and they're like really thin to the point where like it feels like I'm not wearing anything, which is like my favorite kind of material because if I could, I would just roam around naked all the time. Apparently, they're the brand WSS. I don't know what that is. Is is that a Canadian brand? Is that an American brand? I don't know. It might not be either, but I love them so dang much. Highly recommend y'all check out your local thrift store to find something similar because I'm obsessed. The next thing that I will talk about is the food items I'm loving this month. We all know your girl likes to talk about her food. She likes to stuff her face because she has a sweet tooth. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, jelly bellies. My family gets the giant pack from Costco because you can never have enough jelly beans in your house. But I'm obsessed with these. I go through them so quickly. My favorite is buttered popcorn and sizzling cinnamon. Honestly, if I could just have like a full-on pack of just that, I would be a happy camper. My dad really likes to just take a handful of all the flavors and shove them in his mouth at one time because he's a chaotic energy kind of person, I guess. But it drives me crazy and it makes me so angry. <laughs> like... Ugh. But let me know down below your favorite flavor because I would like to know. And then the next goodie that I've been loving this month are these chocolate covered cookie dough bites. They're literally just what the name is, chocolate covered cookie dough, but they are so good and I can't stop eating them and like I try to hide them so I don't eat all of them. I'm pretty sure it's dark chocolate too, which I'm not like the biggest fan of dark chocolate, but dark chocolate and cookie dough great combination highly recommend and then we shall talk about our miscellaneous aka Funko Pop category because I have no self-control and just keep buying Funko Pops so the funny thing about these two is that I had just filmed my Funko Pop collection video because I deep cleaned my room so we 
did a video showing all the Funko Pops because I moved a bunch of them around. And then the next day I bought two more. So I got Hercules so that he goes with my Hades because Hades has been very lonely and I never found a Hercules. So now I found him. I really, really want a Meg and I really, really want a Phil and a baby Pegasus. Honestly, I just want them all because I'm the only one left is baby Hercules, which like I'll take him, but don't need him. You know what I'm saying? But now I have Hercules. And I also got a Slinky Dog. I freaking love Slinky Dog. He's just so like cranky all the time and like me, you know? I just think he's like the cutest thing ever. So I was super excited when I found him. And now we shall talk about my favorite book of the month that I read. I was expecting to like this book, but not as much as I did. I honestly was a little hesitant going into it. I had heard it was really good, but then other people were saying that it was like super duper duper hyped up and usually hyped books I hate, but this one loved it so much. It's Sawkill Girls by Claire Legrand, which is funny because I literally just finished Fury Born yesterday by Claire Legrand and I absolutely hated it and I gave it a 2. This one, 4.5. I will have a full review up on it whenever I get um, unlazy and actually film because this is the first video I'm filming in three weeks, so I'm very behind, but I've just had no motivation. That's a whole nother story. We're not going to get into that, but highly recommend y'all pick up this book. Really good. It's like a horror YA book. And I was here for it because we love ourselves some horror in this house. And now for my favorite part of the video is me getting to lip sync terribly to my favorite songs. So this month I discovered a new artist. Her name is Lizzo and I am absolutely obsessed with her. Honestly, she has so many songs like a shit ton that I didn't even know existed. I heard this one on Ellen when she performed on Ellen, obviously, but I've been obsessed with it ever since. So it's called Juice, and here it is. <laughs> honestly just like so much fun to watch live like when she performed on Ellen she just looks like she's having so much fun and she's so happy and I just love her so much and just honestly all of her songs are so catchy and fun and I'm just here for her so y'all should check out Lizzo all right guys so uh, those were my favorites for the month of March let me know down below if you guys have any favorites of your own that you want to share and I'll see you all in my next video goodbye